Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, the world out there. Today we are going to take a look at Gemini's week ahead for April 26th through May 2nd. Okay, in this reading we are going to tap into the energies with the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. It's kind of like the animal oracle decks okay and then we are going to tap a little bit deeper into the energies with a traditional tarot deck and in this spread we are going to take a look at um the energies surrounding you this week what to look out for challenges that you may come across this week what's working in your favor the outcome and advice moving forward okay we'll also pull some clarifying cards at the end and a few more cards for the advice and i also pull a power thought card at the end of every message okay please keep in mind guys the messages here on youtube are general they are not going to resonate every time with every person you are more than welcome to check other signs it's really about the title if there's something in the title resonating there's most likely going to be something in the message i know i'm doing things a little bit differently i also already did a message for gemini but i kept saying the wrong date so i decided to re-record it's a new thing that i'm doing guys um if there's any type of malfunction in the video um or i'm saying the wrong thing i'm just gonna redo the reading okay so we can have a more clear message. Also, I was inclined to kind of switch things up a little bit. So let's see, Gemini, what we can see for you guys. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Gemini for future messages. If you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome and it does help set your intentions with the channel. So let's see here, Gemini, what energies we can see for you for this week of April 26th through the May 2nd spirit. Please and thank you for Gemini. Elizabeth and the Lion. These cards are so beautiful. I've had these for a while, but I wanted to learn um, the book before I presented them in messages. Uh, this card is, it is time to become a great leader. This is talking about leadership. It's talking about um, also strength and acceptance, similar to the strength card. Let's keep going. It's the number 20, which is the number two. The fairy ring, new skills, advanced training, rapid improvements, 37, 10, 1. I feel like you're coming into your power. Let's get one more card out here for you, Gem, and we'll talk about it. Little wolf girl. It is all right to be alone. I feel like you're coming into your power, but you're coming to this part of the journey where you're having to discover things on your own. On the bottom of the deck, we have Frog Princess. She talks about heed wise counsel. Listen. So listen, Gemini. I feel like the message that's coming out for you this week is you're coming into your power. You're coming into this leadership role that you may have been working on for a while. I feel like there may be some new skills that you're learning, a little bit of training. Maybe you're going on the internet and taking some classes, some webinars. Um, there's a lot of free things out there right now, especially with everything shut down. Everybody kind of made their programs free or low cost. So I feel like this is something that you're jumping into. I also feel like you're in this energy of acceptance that the, this process of the journey, this part of the journey, you're going to need to be alone. Um, and I feel like you're coming in, you're coming to terms with that idea.
see what else we can see for you, Gemini. I do feel like you are coming out of something that may have been a little turbulent, maybe a little tumultuous, um, but it was all part of the learning process, right? Let's see. I'm being guided to use the Oceanic Tarot for you, Gemini. Most important message for Gemini for April 26th through May 2nd. Spirit, what does Gemini need to see about this leadership? Gemini, April 26th through May 2nd. Please and thank you, Spirit. Energy surrounding this week is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So this card talks about, when it's in the upright, it talks about abandonment, right? But when it's in the reverse, it talks about um, coming out of that feeling, no longer giving that energy power. What to look forward to is clarity, truth, honesty. This card also symbolizes a victory. Beautiful. The challenges here, Gemini, is I feel like there may be something, some things that you're still healing from. And this very well could be from this past situation, this past energy that, you know, you're healing from. That I was picking up, you know, that um, past situation, okay? That may have been, you know, it may have been tumultuous. I feel like there may be somebody coming back from your past, um, but I feel like you at one point thought this was a wish fulfillment, but I feel like now you're kind of being cautious here. The advice is to be cautious, pay attention to the details. The Page of Wands is kind of like that, um, paying attention to all the little things, a card. The outcome here is two of cups. So I do feel like there is somebody or something that may be coming back, Gemini, that um, may be wanting to reconcile. But I feel like what the advice here is kind of to pay attention. Let's get some clarity on this. Please clarify the five pentacles in reverse. So in the past, there may have been a situation within relationships. This is the Knight of Cups in reverse, um, where maybe somebody um, chose another person over you. And I feel like this caused you the state of uncertainty. I feel like you're not waiting anymore. This is the hanged man in reverse. You're no longer waiting on this, okay? I feel like you're really trying to cut through the bullcrap. It's the sense that I'm getting this is the Ace of Swords, clarifying the Eight of Swords, okay? So the Ace of Swords is coming out here twice. I feel like you're cutting, you're cutting through the bullcrap. You've been in this process of healing for some time now. This is the Wheel of Fortune, Gemini. So I feel like things are finally going to be turning around. This was um, similar to the reading that I did that I was saying the wrong dates as well. So you may want to check that reading out here, Gemini. The outcome here is the Queen of Swords. Beautiful energy. There's this... I feel like in the past there was a need here for clarity. Maybe you walked away from a situation without speaking your piece and now they're coming back in and you're able to kind of speak up. I feel like this person may come back with an apology 
Um, but for some of you, this may be an apology that wasn't well planned out, wasn't well thought out. Um, however, when this person comes back, I do feel like it's going to be this sense of reward. Like, you know, um, I knew they'd be back type of thing. But is that something that you're really interested in now? It's the question you're going to have to ask yourself. Let's get a few more cards out here for your advice, Gemini, moving forward. From this situation. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. So, <laughs> sorry guys if I say that, but uh, this uh, reading is resonating a little close to home. I am a Gemini, so... Um, Hopefully, let's see. The advice cards that are coming out for you, Gemini, is Strength, Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, okay? There's going to be an opportunity to speak your truth. I feel like being cautious with your words, okay? Because your words can cut life like a knife and hurt the situation, or you can speak with truth, with certainty, with knowledge, with feeling, with empathy. And maybe even change this person's perspective on the situation. Um, not necessarily change, but influence it to see your side of the story. Okay? You're going to have to be very cautious with your words here, Gem. Um, I do feel like there is this acceptance piece here with the strength card, okay? Um, but speaking your peace, speaking your truth is, is what's going to bring the balance, okay? Is what's going to bring the closure in this situation. Again, there is a need here for closure, uh, for clarity, I feel like things probably didn't end up, didn't really end fair in the past. I feel like things are kind of balancing out now moving forward. So let's see. Let's get this. Um, I'm going to pull a couple cards from this Soul Journey deck here and then we will pull that power thought card like I promised I am going to do an extended version to this reading here in the extended version um, we're going to take a look at um, what the next steps are moving forward what the potential outcome is here and then we will also pull out the Archangel guidance cards for a blessing um, and a soul truth for the weekly lesson that's something you guys are interested in. The link will be below in the description box. Soul journey cards for you, Gem. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. I feel like pride and denial have gotten in the way of this clarity for a long time. But I get the sense here, Gemini, that things are turning around. This person may have um, been through some things where they were able to kind of see the bigger picture here and are coming back um, with an apology. So just try to be open at least for closure, if nothing else, okay? Because I do feel like some of you may be resistant to this person coming in. And so with that gem, the power thought card that's coming out for you guys is, there is no blame. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself, 
we are all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness we have. There is no blame. Beautiful, Gemini. Beautiful. So, Gemini, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.